This is crazy. I mean, this is ridiculous. And you know what? They can't do anything about it. So welcome to my channel, everybody. My name is Marco, and today I want to talk to you about so-called flippers, gear flippers. And Novo is an example par excellence. Let's go. So Novo guitars made in Nashville, you know them. Fantastic build, fantastic quality guitars, uh, boutique stuff, and I love them. But if you want a custom Novo, you have to wait at least 18 months, and that's quite a long time, to be honest. You can also get a select series Novo, which are the same models, but with, let's say, um, fewer specs that you can choose from, but the quality is the same. And last but not least, if you want a Novo right now, you can go to the used market. And yeah, that's what we want to take a look at later in this video. Trust me, this is insane. But to begin with, we want to check the Novo website um, with their prices. So let's take a look at the Novo Select. Here we are, we can go to the shop. There you have the different series, Novo Select, Novo Custom. Novo Signature, which is a sort of one-offs designed by Dennis Faino. Um, of course, they are expensive, they are one-offs, but let's compare a Novo Select. Um, let's take the Voltour, super cool model. And you can see you have to pay a deposit, 500 bucks, and the rest will be then two thousand five hundred bucks and you'll be at um, two nine ninety nine so let's say three thousand bucks estimated lead time is two to three months and yes so in my opinion that's a fair price for such a quality guitar i mean look at them they're beautiful so you can get a super cool novo select within two or three months if you want to but now we want to take a look at the use price situation uh, in my example on Reverb, um, but it totally reflects the whole situation because you can find them everywhere, overpriced as. So a while ago, I was chatting with another Novo owner in the Novo owner's Facebook group uh, because I was interested in one of his guitars. He had a Novo Solus M1 and a Novo Voltour from the Select series and I could have bought it for this price. So that's a super fair price considering you had to ship it to Europe, you had to import it. So that's great. So nothing to complain here. Um, after a while ago, I guess he couldn't sell it. I don't know why, to be honest, but I found another Facebook post like this. And as you can see now, the price has increased quite a bit. So still not too crazy. Um, I guess if you really want a Novo in Europe, you will have to pay that sort of money. Maybe not that much, but yeah, you get the idea. But this is not the end of this Voltour story. A few days later, I found this reverb listing. And yeah, this reflects the whole Novo situation. There are people like intending to be getting Novos just with the intention of selling it. And that's a problem that Novo had ever since the lead time increased that much and they can't do anything. And in my honest opinion, these are great guitars, but they're definitely not worth like a Nova Select for 4,800 bucks. I mean, this is crazy. Let me know in the comments, what do you think about this whole thing? What do you think Novo should do to prevent this whole gear flipping thing? I mean, is there even anything they can do? I don't think so. Let me know in the comments. I'm really curious what you think. And like I said, this was only one example that caught my eye. Let's have a look at Reverb. So here we are on Reverb. As you can see, here is the Voltura I've been just talking about. And 
no matter where you look, you can see skyrocketing prices. I mean, look at this five, seven, six, six thousand three hundred bucks. It's even reduced. <laughs> Come on, this is ridiculous. Five thousand two hundred bucks. Uh, I mean, you can get those depending on your custom specs for three thousand three hundred, four hundred, five hundred. Yeah, and here you can see six thousand bucks. Five seven. I mean, oh man, this is crazy. And I'm pretty sure Novo is not super happy about this whole thing. They also don't know what to do about it. So, like I said, what do you think about this whole situation? Let me know in the comments below. I think it's nuts, and I'm pretty curious where this this is going in the future because. I'm pretty sure lead time for Novos will increase even more. So I'm assuming the prices will also increase. Thank you so much for tuning in. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this content. Really appreciate it. And guess we're going to see us in the next one, everybody. Peace.